founder and CEO of uh, Holobuilder. Um, he, he, Holobuilder is located in Silicon Valley and provides provide a web-based 3D editor for VR and AR. So please welcome with an, with an applause Simon Heinen, founder and CEO of Holobuilder. What we created is in addition to our web platform where you create the virtual tour, we created some applications like this one here where you very easily can pick for example a floor plan and then you walk with your Tita S or with another 360 camera through the building and you take all these images so it's remotely connected to the smartphone and this way you can very easily create these virtual tours and you just click on the floor plan where you currently place the camera and as me go, go behind some wall hiding and this way you can place all these dots on the floor plan and just the, the app automatically creates a virtual tour to the building and this app helps um, our customers for example real estate agents who very fast capture um, such a scene or our construction consumers uh, who want to weekly capture the construction sites to have a progress 
to really see, okay, what happened on the construction side this week, what happened last week, and that they can go back in time and jump between these different spots so that they have, in the end, show me what the group X showed one month ago and show me if the wall was closed there and if the pipe was at the correct position, things like that are possible with this product. And the app is just a companion for the web platform where you can also create such tools, but the app made it much more easy, easily because it directly connects with the camera and does all this yeah, combining the content, the 360 images and the links and things like that. And then now I'm opening the project which was just saved in the, in the web browser and we yeah, are it there. So we have this virtual generated tool where you can walk through and see the, the run I, I took in this demo. And I also did one in the, uh, here in the hall, so I will show this. Uh, let's, let's go back to the normal presentation. Here. Sorry for that. Uh, let's try it again. So yeah, the idea is really that you create this virtual tour, capturing it with our app or just taking the photos yourself and then uploading them to the web platform and connect them with, to these virtual representations. You can additionally put in 3D models, add a floor plan as you saw, things like that, and then you can watch it, consume it, send it to your clients or, um, for example, the real estate uh, scenario is quite easy to understand, so you get the embeddable iframe similar to the YouTube iframe and you put it on your site as a real estate agent and uh, this way your customers can really easily use a virtual tour through the house before they even go there and uh, decide so they don't have to go out anymore to at least decide okay this might be a house which is interesting for us or not. And yeah we built the VR capability so it runs in the browser in your smartphone uh, in the cardboard mode, for example, we have a VR app and uh, some native apps if you want a higher quality VR experience. And um, the, the input possibilities, um, as I said, we came from the area of um, augmented reality. That's why we also support all these 3D models and putting 3D content into such scenes so you don't have to start with the 360 image you can also start with a cut model of your building and then add a few other scenes which then use 3D, uh, 360 images so you can combine virtual 3D scenes and 360 scenes and even augmented reality scenes in one, one project and we allow to overlay content in the virtual reality um, in the 360 images so you can overlay the some of the cut models of the pipes in the wall into the 360 image to, to validate if it's in there correctly if, if the machine who's maybe only half visible and pointing out of the wall um, is correctly built into this and uh, scenarios like this and then of course the export to the different yeah, viewing devices. Currently most of our users are using just uh, web browser presentations but a lot of educational users, for example, also are very uh, keen to, to use the cardboard uh, scenarios with their schools, for example, a lot of teachers already discovered Google Builder as a great platform. And yeah, these are the different yeah, visualization platforms we then can show this content to. Um, yeah, you can put in, so what we, what we did, is after we decided, okay, we want to build Holo Builder not only for augmented reality content but also for virtual reality content, we first started in the area just to allow, okay, let's put in some 360 images, let's allow the user to place content in these images, so links, like you see here in the background, you can place any type of 3D model in here. And then we got more and more feedback of the, from the users, and they always said, okay, we, for example, like this feature here, we need a flow plan. So we want to really uh, yeah, give the, the viewer later an overview 
where they are currently and how to jump easily from room to room. This is a real estate scenario, but also the construction guys are really, um, especially because they have much larger floor plans, for example, a hospital with 100 rooms per, per um, floor and uh, six, seven floors. So they really need this um, type of uh, yeah, floor plan possibility to link this virtual uh, tours. We also made a keep on this side shortly. We have the possibility um, to not only place this 3D content in there, but then also define what should happen if the user then interacts with the 3D model or with the 2D icon in the scene. And we allow them to do different actions like jump to the next scene, open a web page, show information or warning, play audio in the background so that you have a 3D narrative in the scene. Um, yeah, for example, someone who really tells a story or you just put some uh, yeah, comment behind that here, tear down this wall. If you don't want to use this in text, you can also record it directly here and place it in the scene and things like that. And we also have animations so you can <coughs> make these virtual scenes interactive. You can rotate things, for example, just to have visual cues what things in the scene are clickable or what, what is interactable. And yeah, you can, as I said, link the different scenes. So very easy. For example, you just take one of these three scenes here. And you want to link it as a current one, so you just take it and drop it in here, and um, then you have a link to the other scene. So the viewer later in the catalog mode or in the browser, he just has to look at it and then jumps to the next scene. All right. One second. I will switch back again because the video didn't play again. Sorry for that. I don't know what would be the problem. This is a short summary of what I just said, so a few interactive scene examples. I can show you the created rulers, the RVE here as well in a second. So you place your link, um, like this, you select a different scene to link to, and then you very easily can. It's, it's sort of a 3D PowerPoint actually, so you can do whatever you want. Currently, we're focusing, as I said, on the construction market, so we're trying to build features which are most useful for construction workers and for, for these scenarios related to that. And real estate is another very important um, yeah, scenario for us in this case. So you can put in 3D text icons. Yeah. They, they already use this, for example, for this. So areas where you are really hard to get to, but with a, with a 360 camera lights like Rico on a stick, can very easily go to such places. We built in 3D measurements, so you can um, measure dimensions on defined walls. So you first define, okay, this here was a wall in the image, and then I can measure the dimensions on the wall when I know how high the camera was when I took the, the image. And yeah, this is a cardboard demo. So you can put in 3D models, we allow very easy creation of such, for example, 3D text you can put in, you can also put it in 2D, um, which is most of the time easier, but for some interesting 
titles, things like that. You can put it in 3D as well. And of course, we allow this to import your own 3D model. So we have a complete 3D model parser built in the editor. So you can import all your OBG, DIA, and other CAD models. Um, and as I said, the 3D measurement where we are currently working and releasing it. So this is a very exciting feature, especially for the construction guys, because they can very easily use just a single image and a little bit of mass. They can uh, check if everything is to the correct um, dimensions and um, they can reconstruct sort of the 3D space. This is true as well. So there are some exciting features coming we'll on top of that. And yeah, I will show you. So half an hour ago, I uh, made a short uh, demonstration tour. Let's switch to that and let's work. Here it is. So I took this with the Reno Theta camera. <coughs> I think it's going to be a little bit distorted because of the screen resolution. But I put in the uh, <coughs> link on the slides so you can check it as well on your phones. And you can jump into different scenes, uh, zoom in, put in 3D content. So I made it public so that everybody who gets the link can even continue editing it. And uh, you can play around with it. Um, yeah, here's a, it's a QR code if you want to try it. Um, so a little bit about the yeah, use cases, the construction scenarios. We have already a few uh, customers, also quite big construction companies, uh, using the platform. And the idea is really that you, you can use it in the different stages of the construction site. So here is the pre-construction, where you have a lot of planning and people and subcontractors driving out to the, to the construction site. And um, they can now use this virtual um, virtual images to plan, so the, the person on the construction site who does a weekly um, job walks anyway can send out the virtual construction site to the subcontractor and he can estimate, okay, this will cost about x dollars to close uh, the wall here at this point. So they don't have to send out a guy, the construction, the subcontractor doesn't have to send out someone to the construction site anymore to make an estimation how much it would cost them to actually do the job the construction sets currently needs. And um, then of course in the end you have um, when the building is finished, you have the documentation purpose for insurance cases, you have this complete so you can at any time jump five years back and see exactly on in which week was a was a wall, was this pipe in the wall at the wrong place placed, things like that. And you can prove with this sort of documentation, and it's much easier um, taking this single 360 image uh, from, a, from a room in the construction site instead of taking what they did before. They took like 40 images per room, and then they just put it in a, in a folder. And then later, if there was really such an insurance case or or any other problem, they would have to go to all these folders, find the correct image, and it's really hard to get. If you only have an image of a close-up of a wall, it's really hard to get if it's the right wall, if it's at the correct position. With a single 360 image, you just naturally orientate yourself in the scene and then you find exactly what you can see if uh, you're looking for. Yeah, and then, of course, the real estate scenarios um, where you can then use this, this finished building, this tool to the finished building to, to rent and to yeah, give the possibility of a virtual documentation for the scene. Time lapse, I also mentioned it shortly, and the dog walks which are used for the tour here for the uh, RBE. Time lapse is, um, yeah, what I said, you can jump back to the different stages of the same room. So you have a very powerful way to just jump through time and see what happened at which week. Um, this is, of course, most useful for construction scenarios, but also other, um, other artists and other people using the platform already discovered this and are playing around with it. Um, so we also have some yeah, agencies, media agencies, working with Google to create 
some complete other work, we currently focus not on them and just watch what they are doing to learn from them and to get their feedback and, and understand what the platform could become in the next years. But for now we are focusing on these construction scenarios. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, we also have people flying around with their 360 drones and importing such images. We have um, very close up to this documentation, so you can really also have a sort of virtual reality instruction guide for later documentation purposes. So you can um, not only use AR for these instruction guides, but also see VR tools as well. And yeah, um, the Rico Theta and other 360 cameras are currently coming out, and there are a lot of works I found on the Fotokina. A few weeks back in Cologne, I, I saw again like five other Chinese companies building similar products like these. Um, so these 360 cameras are currently very popular and they are getting cheaper and cheaper. And the Rica, Rico Theta S, for example, is a very good start if you don't have one and want to try it. It's not that expensive and uh, the quality of the images is quite good for, for such a <coughs> price. Yeah, in, in summary, um, what we did, we focused on the non-so-glamorous um, real use cases which are currently out there and which, uh, which our users really use the platform for. And we said, okay, all the other possible, possible ways we could go, like all the augmented reality content users can also create on our platform. We don't focus on that, we focus on the, the bigger, more scalable scenarios and that was a little bit the, the story, uh, what I wanted to tell with this presentation and wanted to show why we, why we are currently heading in this direction and maybe also give out these learnings uh, for you as well. So yeah, you can try it out yourself, um, you can create a free, a free account, you can even upload images so if you don't have a 360 camera you can use your phone to create such 360 images and try it out and we'd love to hear from you and get your feedback. So thanks.